Another day, another reveal. Hey, it's Chris the Batman Statue Collector. Welcome back once again to Brotherhood of the Bat Collectibles. I'm back up at it early this morning and big reveal actually yesterday from Queen Studios. Queen Studios. Have we heard from them in forever? It's been a long time, but now Wonderfest is this coming weekend and they're already setting up the booth and they're already teasing things and there's some really exciting Batman stuff that I'm very excited about, but oh my goodness, we have a Ben Affleck, Bruce Wayne, and this was actually teased maybe two years ago and now it's finally coming out. So I don't know what's been going on exactly with Queen Studios, but I'm really excited that they are pushing forward. I know times have not always been great right now for statue companies, so I'm very excited to see them, you know, giving it a second go here. And I'm really excited to see what they're going to do. And this particular <laughs> diorama that they're creating with all these different Batmans, and then, of course, this Ben Affleck that we're going to be talking about today, um, there's been a lot of popularity with some of the unmasked um, figures lately. Um, you see a lot of these from J&D. We see a lot of these from Blitzway. And now, obviously, Queen Studios is going to be doing one as well. So without further ado, let me show you all the photos that I have. And I'll let you be the judge. All right, let's take a look. So is that Ben Affleck? Is that Bruce Wayne? And hell yeah, it is. It looks fantastic. Um, definitely him. Um, is it 100% for me? Maybe not 100%, but I think it's pretty darn close. I think Queen Studio has done a really nice job here of capturing the look of the character. And as we get some close-ups here, we'll be able to take a, you know, a deeper dive. Very reminiscent of what uh, j and is doing, kind of that simple square base. Um, but I feel like there's a little bit of repetition there. It's definitely, uh, you know, small. Um, maybe some of you will like that. Um, but here, here's the portrait. Um, it's obviously polystone. It's not going to be silicone, um, which, you know, Queen Studios typically does. Is that perfect from that angle. I don't feel like, I feel like that looks really good. I don't know about the other angle. Uh, you know, if it's hundred percent, I still feel like it's, you know, definitely in the higher nineties somewhere. I think that looks fantastic. Um, but I am curious as to what you guys think. Um, the tailoring obviously looks really nice. It's got some, you know, really nice cut and sew elements to it. Obviously it's just a suit, um, with a simple base. So that to me, the most important thing here is that, that likeness, because that's what you're paying for. Um, but, you know, tailoring these days, they do a nice job, generally. Um, and then, of course, you have some really nice detailing on the hands with the watch. Again, that's not going to be, uh, you know, silicone. That's going to be fully sculpted. And I think that looks fantastic. I think they've really come a long way with their paint techniques. And, it's, again, it's just really kind of awesome to see Queen Studios back at it. Again, I feel like it's been really, really quiet in 2024, which has been odd. But I'm really glad that they're back. And I think that this is a great offering from them. I mean, look at that from right there from that angle that looks great to me i love the uh, the five o'clock shadow i feel like it just i mean that right again that looks fantastic i think they've really captured him um kind of that stoic nature of him uh, you always see those memes with him you know, <laughs> frustrated and upset i feel like that kind of reminds me of this a little bit he's got that kind of that same look um he's not a real happy bruce wayne in this one that's for sure but i think it looks good and i am again i'm just really more than anything i'm happy that Queen's back, uh, at, you know, again, showing things at Wonderfest and teasing us with these things. It's really exciting. Um, the base, like I said, it's just that square base. I think it looks good, but you know, it's very minimalistic. Uh, and some people love it. Some people don't like them. I know a lot of the J and D collectors, like I mentioned does, this is it. This is the money shot right here. This is, um, you know, seeing all of these Batmans together. And it's really cool because these shots that we see are, are the actual statues. Before, it was just like renders and stuff. But we actually get to see the, the, the whole lineup. And these are all quarter scale, guys. Every, every one of these that we're seeing here is quarter scale. And so if you're a quarter scale collector, I think, you know, a lot of times, you know, I hear in the community that this is your Batman, right? And so I think a lot of collectors are going to be really excited to have all the suits in one place to create one epic one four scale diorama. Uh, it's going to take up a little bit of room. But again, now I, you know, maybe understand the the minimalistic nature of, uh, you know, why they went with a smaller base because they have so many other pieces, uh, you know, surrounding it. But I think it's awesome. I think the, the, the pose is really cool. I think this one's going to be a hit among collectors. But I am definitely curious as to what you guys think. Again, it's just really cool to see all of them together uh, on display this way. And uh, again, I'm just really happy for Queen Studios. I think it's awesome. I mean, just look at this. Look at look how awesome that is. I I can't wait to see more. I, I love that uh, crouching Batman when throwing the battering. I, I'm really excited to see more about that one. That's the one I'm interested in. 
uh, potentially. But I mean, look at that. It's fantastic. What, uh, what a great direction here from Queen Studios. It's just awesome. So there you go. I think the likeness is fantastic. Um, could it maybe be a little bit better? Maybe, but I still feel like it's very much Ben Affleck. I think it uh, looks very good. Um, you know, I don't know how many people are going to want just a singular Ben Affleck, but I'm sure there's quite a few because, you know, a lot of you are, you know, Ben Affleck is your Batman. He's not my Batman, so I'm not interested, but I think it looks very good. And I think a lot of collectors are going to be really excited about this one. I am curious about the price point, though. Uh, anyway, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I'm off to work for the day. So, uh, again, I hope you have a great day. I also want to remind you, Rogues Gallery is uh, Wednesday, tomorrow night. So make sure you join us. It's going to be a lot of fun. And then also a triple live unboxing on Thursday, which is going to be insane. So make sure you join us this week for some great content, live entertainment. And we'll see you soon in the back cave. Bye, everybody. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them. And also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the Batcave.